what's up guys welcome back to my channel so i'm back again with another routine this is my wash day routine as you can see your girl is back with the natural hair and i love to do the finger coil method because of the length of my hair i literally cut my hair to the scalp so it's growing back it's growing back pretty well so i want to give it a chance to really flourish and grow and be healthy with no chemicals and no color so this is what your girl is on right now so i wanted to share it with you all if you are you know on your natural hair care as well embrace it and be confident because that's what i'm doing so as you can see this is like a week old of my hair being out and this is literally the second time that i'm wearing my hair and washing it so these are the products that i am currently using I definitely plan on changing a few things, um, definitely changing the shampoo. I want to get something that is specifically for natural black hair and curls. And then I'm actually thinking about changing my coil gel just because this one has a lot of um, flaking and we'll talk about that later. So now we're going to use the shampoo. I really do like the OGX brand. I've been using them on not only my natural hair, but my wigs. So I literally just bought this bottle of shampoo and conditioner. So I'm going to tough it out and use it for a few months until it's gone. And then I'm going to end up changing. So this is me shampooing my hair and I'm just making sure I do it on dry hair first. I've heard that this is a lot better and I've been doing it for a few months now. So this is literally what I like to do instead of wetting my hair first. So this is a game changer. This is my scalp massager. I bought this from Ulta. It feels so good on the scalp and then it really helps defining your curls. So you'll see that in a minute that it definitely allows my hair to become a lot curlier. And again, did I mention that it feels great? Because it definitely does. <laughs> so that's exactly what I'm doing here. Just lathering it all in and really deep cleansing my hair and my scalp. So here is my hair now. You can really see the curls pop. Now I'm just kind of pat drying my hair with my towel, not going too crazy, just kind of like scrunching it. And then I'm going to condition my hair. So I'm using the OGX coconut oil conditioner again and I'm just putting a whole lot on the hair and getting it all in there and I'm going to use my satin cap and allow it to sit on my hair for about 10 minutes and before I do that I like to just detangle my hair and kind of put it in sections that way I can make sure every section is detangled and I'm using the wide tooth side as you can see just so I can really get in the hair and it won't be as kinky and it's a lot easier to work with Hell but laugh because my face is just so serious so I do apologize I'm in a good mood and here you go my bonnet is old faithful she is multi-purposing my situation so on to the next so what I like to do is just oil my scalp and I'm using my hair growth oil massaging it in just so I can have that ready to go and then I'm using the Miel Weave-In Conditioner. I don't really know how to pronounce this. This is very new to me. Um, like I told you guys in the beginning, uh, this is my first time using this product. So I'm kind of like on the fence. The Leave-In Conditioner was nice. So this is the Coil Sculpting Custard. Now my issue with the custard is that it does 
leave some flakiness to the hair after a while however it really does give a nice curl so I'm using my detangler brush to start at the front of the hair obviously and I'm just gonna speed past this part because this of course is the longest part and that's just finger coiling so what I just do is add some of the product and brush it through my hair allow my hair to curl and I'll admit the front of my hair doesn't really curl as easy as like the crown or the middle of the hair and then the back of my hair so I kind of have to train it so I'll start in the front first just to get it over with and so it can dry a little faster and then I just work my way to the back so I'm making sure that all the ones in the front kind of lay forward and then closer to the back laying down and then on the side laying down as well So about 40 minutes later, I am done. As you can see, this is what my hair looks like after it's completed. And I'm going to be going to sleep and letting it dry overnight. So I think it came out really good. Here's the back. It's a little messy, but that's okay. And then of course, I'm gonna add my bonnet on for the night. She's old faithful, she gets the job done, boom. The next morning, I'm gonna add some more oil to my hair. And here you guys can really see, if you look really close, you can see a lot of the custard that's still kinda of in the hair that didn't dry. So it's a little flaky. That's what I do not like about this product. So I think I'm gonna go back to the As I Am products. I've used that in the past when I wore my hair natural. So I don't remember it really leaving a lot of whatever this is in my hair, but I think moving forward, I'm gonna be using that instead. So now what I'm doing is just kind of teasing the hair, using my rat tail comb, and kind of plucking the hair out and unraveling it. That way it could kind of look old and it will look a little more fluffier and then I'm adding oil in my hair that way it doesn't look as dry and I'm doing that all over the head so this is the back of the head and I'll just kind of pick you know a few areas to do it and allow it to look a little fuller. So this is the end result. As you can see, we're looking fly. We got our little baby hairs, a little natural swoops. Considering the fact that I got a little bit of the flakiness on the hair, I think it's cute, yes. So exude that confidence with your natural hair on it. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Holla at your girl. Bye.